Hello again and welcome back to my channel. Today I was going to show you my finished works for September and I'm going to start off with my worst picture <laughs> and then I'll end showing you my current whip. So in August I carried on coloring in a few pictures um, and I also completed some pictures I had started and September came through and those pictures I had started remained to be completed and I also went in September and bought myself the Rita Berman's latest book Me and Reis durch Europa and um, it was my mom's birthday in the beginning of September so I went off to Hobbycraft to get her a few goodies and found a few distress inks you know the mini size and decided that I would go and experiment with them and in my excitement I completely ruined a page <laughs> because I didn't test it and get a feel for the um, applicator and um, so it it went a bit splotchy and not so fun so this is what I did um, I took inspiration from Zucchini Kitty for the lamp um, the, the way she did the light the shading of the lamp um, kind of the pavement so I, I took inspiration from Zucchini Kitty for this page and then I took the distress inks and I ruined it it was splotchy I couldn't get it that smooth feeling and I used the gray and the blue together to try and create like a an overcast blue and I just I just failed it I even tried squirting it with the water and picking it up to try and lift some of the ink here and yeah it didn't it didn't work <laughs> so the coloring I'm happy with but the background just ruins it so I didn't even bother taking a photo and showing it off on Facebook or Instagram because I, I just cringe um, I used Arteza's and I used a few Prisma colors on on here as well so this is all um, Arteza the bird is Arteza um, the lamp, I think, is Prismacolor, and the leaves. I know these leaves are definitely Prismacolor. Um, I, I'm not sure if I really like Arteza, to be honest. I I don't know. It, it works okay. I like the vibrancy of the, of the colors, but from a layering and blending perspective, I'm not sure I've got the hang of them yet. Um, so, we'll see. Oh. I might just stick to the 48 pencils. Uh, Prisma colors are definitely one of my top favorite pencils to work with. Anyway, so that's that in um, Rita Berman's book. I am busy with... I've got one of the spreads here. So I did a video and I colored this in. But I haven't done anything else yet. Um, I'm a bit stuck on how to do the background. So yeah, I should get back to this. So that's the Europa book by Rita Berman. Also in September, I finally finished my page in here. I finally finished it. It took me a while, um, but I actually, I actually did it. And there were a few days I opened it up to complete or to do more work on, and I just felt, nah, I don't feel like it. So with this one, what I did is watercolors for all the grass and the sky. And then I went over it with pencils, with Prismacolors. Um, at first, I did these bits here quite, um, quite bright. And then I watched a video and in it, it said that the further away the heels and the grass is the darker it should be so I try to bring in some more olive colors and browns um, 
and the tree I think the tree came out quite nice it's it's got some life to it I tried to play with lighting so I was trying to have the light hit from the um, right hand side and I tried playing with a bit of shadows here and there um, I don't I'd say I kind of got it right in some places and in other places I didn't get it right at all um, yeah I did the birds very dull colors so they don't stand out terribly I actually got stuck on what to do for the birds I didn't want to bring in too many colors and have the page unbalanced so I was trying to stick with the colors I was using using a uniball signo pen to create the flowers and and make it more of a white flower than a yellow flower was um, an interesting perspective and I forgot that one I just noticed it now so yeah this was my first time painting a landscape and I did actually really enjoy it I found it relatively easy um, it wasn't a lot of things for me to really think about it was also the first time I've colored in windows and so that was fun and here you can see I tried to get the light hit hitting the mailbox so yeah I'm I'm actually really pleased with it and I want to do some more of these um, I'm just not sure when so that's Country Charm um, Creative Haven and by Teresa Goodrich in September I also went back to my steampunk special from Coloring Heaven and I did this one so she's really really cute and see if I can just bring her more into the page no okay so from there what I did I took my eyeshadow I've got um, just a small range of eyeshadow it's the muted brown tones because I actually personally like those and I tried to use the eyeshadow for the face and my applicator brushes were far too big and the face is too small so it just wasn't working it it was looking muddy and like a really really bad idea so I used a kneadable eraser and I pulled out as much of the um, eyeshadow as I could and I went and used eyeshadow instead on the background which I think ha makes a greater effect I used Prismacolors for the rest of the page um, I wanted this to be a bit more white than it is. Um, her dress ha has come out a bit more of an, a cream or a dirty white. So I need to practice um, colouring more white clothes. Um, but I do think it works. And I think I got the, the shadows in the right places to create those folds. So I'm very, very happy with how this turned out. I think I got the balance of the colors well. I'm not sure I got these reds to match the red in the bow and the red on her leggings. Um, I think I forgot to write the color combination down. So that's why it doesn't look as vibrant or matching as the others. Um, but all in all, I'm very, very pleased with this. And I do like using eyeshadow as a background. I think it does create a really cool background effect. And for steampunk, I think it works quite well. So I did that. In September, I went for um, Wind Dragon's Dream coloring book by Anastasia Ellie Calderiva. I wanted to color in blackberries. Um, September is blackberry or bramble picking season starts and I love to walk when I go for a walk um, if there's any blackberry shoulder height I like to pull off a couple and just have a few um, so I wanted to color blackberries in but I started with let's see if I, I started with this one and I was just doing it by myself layering up the colors and then I got a little bit doubtful whether I was getting the colors right or even coloring the blackberries. So I hopped onto YouTube to find a blackberry coloring tutorial. 
and I stumbled upon Lavella's coloring channel and she had done this page in these colors. I was so excited because I thought, oh, yay, I can actually color along with her and learn a few things. So the background is done in ink tins and I used Prismacolors and I had to match the Prismacolors with Lavella's uh, Lavella coloring pencils because she was using um, polychromas and a couple of Prismacolors. So I managed to use what I had and I learned how to color the blackberries and layer them and again I worked on the technique of using a uniball Signo pen to define flowers especially when you're making white flowers. Um, she, coloring along with the videos I was reminded of the style of coloring leaves and I really did enjoy that plus also coloring um, the leaves when they're hanging down or curved up like this one or you know that one and so that was a great learning curve for me and what I especially loved was taking all the pencils used for the berries and the flowers and interpreting um, a shade or two to create the dragon and I really did enjoy the way she colored the dragon um, I learned a lot of you know about taking the color palette and making it work with each element and still bringing in a balance and creating that focal point on in the picture so it was such a learning curve and yeah I really enjoyed it it took me about three weekends to finish this page um, plus a few nights so it took me a while but um, it was really really worth it so what I'm going to do with this page I'm probably going to follow a similar um, idea to this one as far as colors but I might not make them this pinky I might make the dragons a bit more white because there's not as many flowers um, but we'll see how it goes I think I'll first carry on with the with the blackberries I wanted to create um, some red berries you know be before the blackberries are ripe and then partially ripe one so that's why there's a bit of red woven a bit of red in this one um, so some of them will be really ripe others will be ripening and the red ones will be kind of like the raw not the raw the unripe ones so that's my idea for that and finally my current whip I've been working on this one for I think it's two weekends now um, is in Magical Dawn. I went and got myself a notebook and I wrote down all the whips I have and the color schemes, the pencils I've been using and realized I have about 30 works in progress. <laughs> so I'm forcing myself to not color and start new pages but to finish and wrap up some of the pictures that I have already started. One of those pictures is this one. I started her with castle arts and then I lent my castle art pencils to a friend um, to try coloring and that sort of thing. So I layered Prismacolors on top of it and I built up the layers. I was a little bit more rushed in the layers and um, just because I was impatient and um, so I had to go over her skin with some mineral orange and um, I think it was a burnt sienna and just to bring a bit more of a warm glow to her face and um, it just yeah so it was lively and not pale or um shallow and she's she's coming along really well i think if i were to go back and redo it i would definitely um have slowed myself down on her skin and, and just built up the layers more i think i just got too excited um the leaves i love this color 
and palette for the leaves I think it works really well and the um, the grapes I'm doing more purpley grapes and I'm implementing a similar strategy to the blackberries uh, because the grapes are really really little so I hope to finish this one soon and then some more of the whips that I have in Hannah Carlson and my other books so that is what I've been working on for September 2021 um, please do give me a thumbs up if you like this video if you want to see more videos like this or follow along um, I do flip throughs and I also try to do a few uh, tutorial or color alongs um, I just try to share my coloring journey and what I'm up to so if you'd like to join please subscribe and hit the like button below until next time bye for now